and this is something that I kind of always latched on to ever since I read it, and it's in the Tao Te Ching, and it says the the eternal the Tao that can be said is not the eternal Tao, and it, and it, so this is kind of like we're kind of embedded in in language, and we we mistake the menu for the meal, so we we think our thoughts and these words and these programs are the meal itself, but but it's not. The meal itself is kind of like these secret dark feelings that we have within ourselves, and um, and it's really hard to even distinguish that because it's always filtered through through whatever programming or, or our minds, and it's really hard to kind of get. But it's always there, and it's always kind of. I think that's what makes us uh, feel uncomfortable at times, because we're not staying true to to our inner spirit of being creative or being an explorer. Um, I kind of want to bring up something that uh, a Minds member messaged me this morning, and I never talked to him directly before, but I said, hey, what's up? And he's like, oh, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, sure, ask me a question. It's, that's fine. And he's like, well, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm in a funk, and I feel like, uh, like, you know, I have a good job and all this kind of stuff, but it, it seems like I, I'm stuck. A bit. And I was like, well... I can tell you how I kind of get, because I get in, in ruts too, or whatever. And I can tell you how I personally get out of the rut, and and I was like, maybe that would help you. And so I tell him I uh, change, you know, change my habits, like especially if I feel like uh, a lot of times it, it it happens when I'm like working too much with, uh, in my job, and I just get into this routine of like waking up, going to work. And and not and then I just get st stuck in this routine and then I'm like ah oh, I need to break out of this because like I'm going too too much in my automatic mode and I don't even know if that's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing and um, so I kind of like get away I unplug I, I go off and it does and it unplug also too doesn't doesn't mean that I necessarily have to go I like to say that the phrase I go up into the mountains but um, I could just even go up into the mountains in my own mind. I don't, and, but a lot of times I physically like to go out in nature and walk or whatever and kind of just mess up my own routine and then kind of like after I mess up my own routine I kind of like focus in on my own mind and I try to filter out okay wh where where is my center at where is my inner self and if I could hear my inner self or, or am I just hearing the static and noise of, of all these programs and um and, and then I kind of say, okay, I, I kind of, I, I do a lot of dream work, so I pay attention to even the, the deeper symbolism of my dreams and what they're telling me. And a lot of times they'll tell you if you are um, stuck in a path that's not necessarily true to your inner self. And, you know, this is really kind of like, for every individual, you have to make up your own uh, uh, interpretation of it. And I just kind of told them, basic outlines and I like I like Joseph Campbell's The Hero Journey that kind of gives you like the archetype and the structure of everybody's individual uh, journey but it's always also a, a constant journey that you kind of always go through these cycles and you're always kind of like uh, losing your way but then kind of finding yourself back to it if you're open and, and all this kind of stuff and so when I was telling him and I was like, oh, I said, oh, you wrote a blog about microdosing, and and this is a recent one I did with the uh, LSD as a, a creative so a problem solving agent. And I'm like, oh yeah, and I told him, oh yeah, well, I in my experience, um, psychedelics has helped me. Uh, I and with that said, I haven't done psychedelics in like four years, but it helped me get a frame of reference to kind of like go beyond the ego. But from there, you could use other tools of meditation, yoga. And all these other tools that, that help you. Once you kind of get that frame of reference, then you go kind of like, oh, I've been, you know, I wet my feet before, and now I could get back in there. And then also too, I do a little bit of dream work on myself. But um, so I kind of told him, and he's like, oh, I, I'm kind of scared of meditation. And I'm like, what? And then he told me that he had this outer body experience once when he meditated, and that when he kind of, uh, I forgot what he said. He mentioned it to to somebody and they kind of didn't help him and made him feel weird and I started I kind of uh, in my own mind I kind of was like kind of smirking I was like well I was like I I totally get what you mean like one or three days and I wanted to have like this enlightenment experience and I sat underneath the tree and waited for enlightenment just like Buddha and then I had kind of like the classic outer body experience and it kind of you know 
I was young and I didn't have any frame of reference of that. I didn't have anybody to go to, so I felt really weird about it. And so I, I know what you mean. And then he was like, oh, thanks for that. Like, you're like one of the first persons to actually tell me like, oh, it's okay. I have that experience too. Instead of being like, oh, you know, that, that's weird. Don't talk to me anymore. Or, you know, like sometimes people just need to have that comfort that, that they're, that, you know, other people are kind of going through this experience. And I think this is something too that where, you know, you hear these stories. That's why it's so important to kind of communicate. And this is what we did on, on a lower level on minds is sharing our, our personal tales on other posts. And I think with the minds panel show and the infinite imaginarium, we're taking it to the next level um, of, of really pounding out this um, discussion, really kind of trying to communicate to each other of writing this new inner story for ourselves. And it's kind of funny because I always kind of said, oh, the new story is a lot like the old story before the show. It's about you know, what you're saying about being adventurous and going on these adventures um, of experiencing new things. But also, and then with that is about be, being creative. And that's kind of um, in a very essence way, what we're doing here is to, to explore. We're explorers of this realm or whatever you how you want to phrase it but also too we are we are creators and we use the symbol that i use for satori d is because it comes from um this cave in france and it's one of the oldest cave paintings and this this little bee shaman was was painted out in like the furthest corner of the cave and it's really dangerous and it's really dark there and it, and it's uh and it was the first time that they could kind of co cope back that somebody and they, they say most likely the shaman wrote something that wasn't part of nature because all before that the cave paintings were about hunting were about bison were about animals but this one was like one that was totally creative or or something different that wasn't in the natural realm that it, it was this the first time they saw this this something of maybe art or or creating uh, so that's kind of why I like using the symbol that I use and uh, and it's very weird because if you're ever in the creative process and you have this feeling and I, and I wrote this in a poem one that and everybody said oh that's so great that you created that but you kind of had the sneaking suspicion that you kind of access that creation like I always kind of use this phrase that I'm just the pen that sometimes, especially when you get into a really good groove of, of uh, writing or, or whatever your, your artwork is, that you kind of get into this this really, the Tao, this natural flow of, of consciousness or whatever, and you're, and you're expressing whatever needs to be expressed and it comes out and you, and you it's not like, it, cause it goes, I think all good artwork kind of goes to the source. And it's all like expressions of that source. That's why it resonates with so much people, and that's why it lasts uh, throughout time. But um, yeah, that's my little.